Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. You know, Lightroom probably has over a hundred hidden features and tricks in it, and I bet I haven't uncovered half of them, but I have found some of them. Over the next several weeks, maybe one video a week, I'll be doing where I'll tell you about a hidden feature I found in Lightroom that I think you might find useful. In this video, I'm going to talk about before and after. I have this image here. It's a black and white image, but it started out as a color raw file. I did a lot of processing on it. So if I wanna see a before and after, I could do that one of two ways. I could hit the backslash key on my keyboard. There's before and there's after. Or I could hit the Y key on my keyboard and I have the before on the left and the after on the right. Using either method doesn't really help me much. Because the raw file was a color image and I converted it to black and white and then I did a lot of processing on it, it's really not telling me much. It's not telling me uh, like where I went and what different areas might look like, like this area here that I made real bright compared to over here. And it just doesn't fit. Well, I could control what my before is, a hidden feature of Lightroom. What you would do is go into the side-by-side -side mode. Again, you'd go to the Y key on your keyboard. Y is in yellow, okay? Then you're in the develop module, of course. You're gonna go over here to the history tab. And you can see way down here, I imported the image, the very first thing that was done. And then the very first thing is I converted it to black and white. I wanna compare my final processing to that black and white convert conversion step. All I need to do is click on this step and drag it over this before image. Let go. And there, it's now my before image. So I'll turn off the side-by-side -side view by hitting the Y key again. Now I'll hit the backslash key. There's before and there's after. There's before and there's after. So I think that gives me a better look at what I started with than that color image. Now, I don't need to drag the second thing from that. I could drag any of these steps. Now you look up here, I did a lot of radial filters, a lot of radial filters. Maybe I wanna see uh, what this image looked like before I started adding those radial filters. So I'll hit the Y key again. And the last thing I did before I did all these radio filters is I did luminance smoothing. So we'll click on that and drag that over to the before side and let go. And there's that. Okay, now let's take this Y off or, or turn off the side by side by hitting Y again and do before and after with the backslash key. There's before and there's after. Before. Now I could decide, do I like what I did with those radio filters or did I not like what I did with those radio filters? And I kind of like what I did. I kind of relit the scene with the radio filters, but that gives you an idea. So it's not only for black and white images, though I want to stress that. It could be, you could just want to compare something you did, a bunch of steps. You added a bunch of radio filters or a bunch of brush strokes or something, and you want to compare it to before those brush strokes were done. Just go here to the history tab hit the Y key on your keyboard and drag that step right before you did whatever you were doing to this before side. If you want to put everything back to the way it was, go back to the import at the very bottom here and drag that into this before side. Now we're back right where we started. Now there is another way to do this. You don't have to click and drag. If I want to uh, do this luminance smoothing again, just right click on where it says luminance smoothing in this case, and then um, copy history step settings to before. So click right there. And now that's the before setting. So we'll right click and I'll do the backslash. There's before and there's after, before, after. So you could do right clicking or you could drag it when you have this side by side view. So that is a hidden feature in Lightroom that I think a lot of people don't know about. So going forward, maybe one video a week, I'll do where I talk about a hidden feature that I think you might find useful. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.